Regardless. I want a world in which my children have the availability of the children's help phone. We're going to make it happen. There you go. So Game three. This is game three. There's a lot riding on this bad boy. We're going to a WCS Daybreak. Yes, Daybreak. Uh, fairly large map. Uh, definitely an interesting one uh, for ZVZ. Uh, and uh, one that... <laughs> One, one that I'm sure is going to prove interesting in, in, in that uh, it will be quite a stage <clears throat> for Hendralisk to either come back on full tilt mm -hmm. after losing. And I, I feel like Hendralisk is one of those guys that does not like losing. <laughs> I don't I think anybody like, likes losing. No, but, but you know what I mean. He's just like one of those guys when he loses. He goes, he, he goes he, super sane. He's like poker face. Yeah, it's like the man never even Frieza smiles. killing Krillin I type shit. Yeah, I haven't even seen the man smile. <laughs> but he just, he just he gets an eye twitch. Monster! And he gets really, really upset. <laughs> and then he powers up, and he then he destroys up. anything that is in front of him. Exactly. It's going to be absolutely crazy. So we have Kane, Mr. Maximus Black. Yep. Hit me up with the noise of Hendrilus going Super Saiyan after being so upset about losing the last match. <laughs> you monster. That would have been a great time to have the webcam on, Mike. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's okay. You're the production man, Mike. We <laughs> trusted you, and you're too busy with those shiny headphones that glow with sound or something. I don't know. Maybe if I yell at you louder, they'll turn white with hatred. Anyway, that was a good noise. Thank you. Well done. Uh, Hendralisk chucking down a hatch first, and uh, Kane chucking down his spawning pool first. So we're going to see if that's going to make a, a huge difference. Obviously, Kane is looking to apply some a little bit of pressure, see what he can do. Uh, is he going to go for Baneling's yet again? Or maybe he's going to go for Roaches this time. Oh, who knows? Maybe we're going to swap from last game. Mm -hmm. uh, Hendralisk, uh, definitely, that's the first time I've seen, in any case, of, any, of watching Hendralisk ever have like a really severe mistake like that. Mm -hmm. Normally, he makes fairly small mistakes, and not something as drastic as, let's send all of my units into a corner of death, mm -hmm. and then just keep streaming units and hope for the best. Uh, that's normally not him, so I'm, I'm sure we're going to see uh, a possibly a much more uh, refined Hendralisk in this game. Mm -hmm. Kane, however, with that brilliant confidence boost coming out of that last game with a decisive victory, might might become a little aggressive. You know, I, I was sort of rooting for Hendralisk, but you know, Kane's really showing that he's got what it takes to make it to the finals. And not only manner. that, and he's manner as hell. Like, I, yeah. uh, he's, he's, he's made a fan of me. Yeah, absolutely. So, and I, I, already liked, I already liked Kane. I was never a big fan of Kane. I was a more of an Undertaker guy. Uh, Undertaker, to, you know, to be fair, Undertaker was always much more cool than Undertaker, Kane. Undertaker, uh, going to be fighting again tonight uh, to keep yes. his undefeated streak What's going this at for WrestleMania. This one? 23 if he wins this one, or 24? I don't know. It's somewhere in there. It's somewhere in there. 20, 23 or something stupid it's, like it's that? It's quite a bit. It's definitely in the 20s. I know it's that. It's something scary. That man, is, that man is apparently immortal, mm -hmm. more so than even the immortal Hulk Hogan. Uh, I think Taker's in his 50s now. Oh, the guy's point. getting old. I think uh, Vince McMahon's like 67. Well, Vince is yeah, Vince is 67, and he uh, he joins uh, he he joins uh, our steroid friend. Yeah, uh, uh, Armstrong. Vince Armstrong yeah. in in the department of never stop taking steroids, ever. <sighs> But steroids are bad, guys. Stay away steroids from that. Steroids are bad. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. If you're, be, if you're at school, though, and your gym teacher or your friends are saying you yes. should try this, perhaps you can call that help Peer phone pressure. line. If you need somebody to give you assistance at making better life choices, there is none better than the kids' help phone. You need to hit up that donation button to make sure that that stuff still goes until your grandchildren yeah. are going to school in space. Absolutely. That's going to that's gonna be a thing in the future. Mars high. So, uh, Metabolic Boost finishing up for Hendralisk, and also the Roach Warren is uh, going down as well, now at about uh, 20%. Metabolic Boost just finishing up here for Kane, and uh, we got the Baneling's Nest finishing as well. So he is going to be going once again, uh, Ling Baneling, 
and Henderless going to be going for Roaches. Yeah, absolutely. Now this is this is this is pretty much the the whole thing, Baneling thing. Really, I started seeing more of it <laughs> once once the uh, last MOG ended, and we saw the Zergs there really take advantage of uh, not just in CBC. Whoa, 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 there, Hendralisk. Whoa, that was a big, big sacrifice. Lost What's that five dollar B word that you like to use every now and then. Um, brazen. Yes, that was awfully brazen. Yes, thank yes, you. Yes, it was brazen. That was very brazen. When you drop like eight banelings right in the face of eight other banelings that are already morphed in, mm -hmm. that's brazen. That's. That's, you know... Also a bad life choice, as he had to cancel each and every one of those, and he's lucky that he got the chance to cancel well, each Well, actually, one of those. When, you, when you kill those, you, you, actually, you get the money back for, for yes. those, but, you, but the, the lanes die. die. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that's pretty much... Yeah. He, I mean, sure, he gets the minerals back and the gas, but he lost all of his attacking units there. Yeah. But we do have the roaches. But look at this. Ready for it again. Oh, he's ready for it. We, he's actually, I would hazard a guess to say he's more ready for it now than he was last time. Oh, absolutely. There's actually a minefield of spine crawlers right now waiting And look for at the this. Opportunity. This is the, uh, the, the train of units that Hendralisk is doing. And I don't think he is interested at all in getting a, a third, although he is droning up. He's got 33 drones. Um, this is pretty much going to be an all-in. If he decides to push in this, th he's pretty much given this game away. And look at this again. Uh, a Spire going down for Kane. This is pretty much identical to what happened before. Yeah. Except and he's he, got Banelings this time. This time he's got Banelings, and this time he's actually killed something. So that's a... St oh, wow. There goes all of those Banelings, and that was a big oh. waste, and now he can't go anywhere. No, this is... Now he's going to back up and wait for more Banelings I mean, this, to, to Is this going to be a, a repeat of last game yeah, where Hendralis like just does not know when to back off and, and just say, okay, this is it? Or perhaps maybe he's thinking, I can't come back. Even if I macro right now, I'm going to be behind. And so you just got to go for it. Maybe i got to go for it. But, I mean, uh, this is not... This just isn't working. I mean, look at the spine crawlers. The, the spire, spire is, is about the to way. finish. It's just about done, and we're going to see a very similar situation. He is getting awfully close to actually getting rid of this natural. But here However, comes the lings. By the time it's done, the lings are already out. The spire is going to be finished. Here comes the ling muta train that Kane uh, was able to use to come to, you know, to, to create victory in last the uh, the last match. No. I think Kane takes this one again oh, if that he was just a nice, keeps it up. That was a nice bust right there. Nice, oh, you, you only got a couple of drone kills. Not, but not that many. But weakened quite a bit. But look at this. The forces are now backed off, and yep. four mutas are now out on the field. If he could manage to do, like, one more big push to the front, he may be able to kill off enough drones to the point where he can sort of macro behind this. But I don't know. Now that the Spires, though, it's going to be very, very tough for Henderless to come back into this game. Yeah, it's it's uh, a very uphill battle. Not as uphill as the last one was. No, it's definitely he, not. Because he at least backed off this time after Absolutely. losing some units. Absolutely. Uh, so he did learn from his mistake last Ooh, time. He's got a Obis. lot. Oh, my God. This is, now, that's an easy pick. And oh, a very so nice many pick. overlords. There's going to be five overlords in total that are just going to be there goes your third. six if he can pick this one off. There goes the minerals for your third. Yep. Bye-bye. 500 minerals, 600 minerals if possible. But look at and this. Here drain. comes the lings. And this is what I was talking about. If he can manage to get a lot of drone kills here, he may be able to somehow stay in this game. But no, the lings are waiting at the ramp. And uh, he very wisely backs off. And now with a major supply block, yep. this is rough. Yeah, no, he's got the supply block. I, I'm, I'm waiting to see if Kane is going to be super aggressive out of this, or if he's just going to grab a third and oh. try and play more comfortably. I would almost be, uh, I would almost be surprised to see him play more comfortably because at this point he really does uh, have this game pretty much oh. wrapped up. Oh, another Overlord! Ooh. Another Overlord's going to go down. And That's like seven in total. So at this point, Oof. with Kane with the map control, there's only one thing Hendrix can really do, and that is use his Ninus network to uh, to try and get some map control back to himself. Getting the cancel on third is very nice. He does have a Ninus network now in production. I don't know where he plans on placing it. He has no overlords in position because, well, he just lost all of his map visioning overlords. They just all died. So at this point, uh, Kane is quite free to move him out the map. He's going to try and put down that third one more time, and he won't have Hendrilis, nearly as much. Hendrilis, so look at this. He's got a, uh, a Nidus. Going, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, he's got the Nidus, and he's building a, a Hydralis den. Um, I, I feel like he can still win this if the attack is right. If he can get uh, Kane out of position, and he can deal a lot of damage, he has uh, quite a bit 
of uh, a static defense here for the uh, Mutas with all the Queens and the Spore Crawlers. So if Kane decides to try and race him with Mutas, it's not going to work out. It's all going to boil down to positioning, uh, and he's going to lose quite a bit of links here. That's never good. Th that right there is pretty much his, his map control. You know, running around, denying thirds, and, and trying to keep the Mutas away from his base while he techs up. Uh, is... Kane going to uh, scout out this uh, this Nidus. If he does, obviously he's going to be able to prepare for it. A queen going down, but still more spore crawlers in here, and we've got a crap ton of hydras. This is still going to be close. It's actually, I'm surprised how it's, close it really is going to be. It's closer than it should have been. I mean, Kane had a quite a wide window there to go down and do damage I agree. with his, his uh, mutilus, and he didn't take that opportunity. I don't know for what reason, if he was concerned about, you know, the never-ending stream of units like the last game here. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. and Hendrix has actually been able to do a lot, even though he doesn't have map vision or real map control, he's been able to still deny that third a couple of times mm -hmm. and keep working with those uh, that small pack of Zerglings, and that's given him enough time to get this Hydra up, to get the uh, Nidus network in position to be able to go. Now you can see this, Kane now yeah. knows that he's got that in the wings and he's waiting to use it. He's probably going to start spreading out some overlords of his own to make sure he sees where these things are coming from. Uh, and this is really, like I said, all Hendras can do, because Hydra by themselves are slow units. Yep. And you're not about to walk across the map with Hydra against a swarm uh, of, uh, of Mutalisk. Oh, here we go. He's now coming in here through the Nidus. This is everything. Yeah. This is everything in the kitchen sink. It's going to be a slow way up as well. He's gonna, these queens are going to be walking at the speed of snail. Uh, but they'll eventually get over there. But uh, speaking of that, uh, by the time they get over there, <laughs> Kane's going to be going to be ready for this attack. I mean, he's getting up a whole whap ton of banelings. His lings are out. The mutas are flying around. But this is still a very scary looking army. No, it is, and it can, uh, you know the queens are what ultimately makes it the, the scariest part of that army. I should say is the fact that he's got so many queens Ooh, here. Nice pick off of two hydras there. Very nice indeed. Every bit of AA. To, uh, yeah. yeah, this is where we get to see Kane's ability to pick off the uh, the AA and the strong AA, getting a couple of kills here and there as Beautiful. they are separated. This Look is great. At that. This is. I mean, this is this is what you want to do. He's just going in, picking them off little by little. Mutas regenerate health very quickly. Uh, this is becoming a very big problem for Hendralisk. He's still on two base. Uh, Kane is on three. He's getting ready for a big flank here. This is going to be huge. This, this could be. This could be just. It's going to be an A move. Heartbreaking. It's going to be an A move. Oh no. The, okay. So a small pack of roaches did see that coming up from the bottom there. So he won't be able to get a clean uh, flank. There, there we go. He and no here's the A move. The Banelings going into the middle, getting rid of those really weak Hydras because they're like glass. And the Mutas focus firing on those Queens one by one, not allowing them to really transfuse because they're just not that quick. The DPS is too much. Only left with Roaches. The Roaches are obviously going to fall very quickly to these Mutas. There's the GG. There's the GG. Kane takes this game and he's wow. going to the finals. Wow.